Welcome to Water Naming Species Botanical Garden. I'm Atsuko and I'm a nursery manager and assistant curator here in the garden. Today we're going to talk about how we propagate rhododendrons. Uh, we do use two methods of propagation, cuttings and seeds. And uh, the reason we use both is uh, for cutting propagation, we are uh, cloning. So we do have a best uh, flowered specimen in the garden, so those we want to clone. Or any plants that have cultivar names, those we have to use cutting propagation uh, to propagate them. Uh, if you do propagating from seeds, uh, many of the seeds we saw are collected in the wild. And uh, so individual seedling, seedlings are genetically uh, unique specimens. And uh, we can preserve the genetic diversity this way. And uh, so let's uh, show you what the rhododendron seed will look like. Many of you might not have seen this before, but very tiny. Here they are. This is it. Um, so key when you're sowing seed is not to cough on them and not to laugh. And it's very difficult when you have a boss who likes to make a joke. <laughs> but uh, that's what the roadie seed will look like. And the timing of uh, when you want to sow seed is, uh, for us anyway, we sow seeds between somewhere between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And that works well for us. Um, and uh, what you want to sow the seed in, what we use is the sphagnum moss. So if you can get the live sphagnum moss, that's the best option. But if you can't, you can purchase the dry, dehydrate, dehydrated sphagnum. So that would be your second option. Uh, grind them up coarsely. We just simply use the Cuisinart uh, food processor, professor for that purpose. And uh, you pack that in this uh, two inch pot, sprinkle the roti seed on top. Now, what do need light for germination? Don't cover them up. And once that's done, this tray is set on the heat bench. Uh, this uh, bench is set to somewhere between 68 to 70 degrees. And we're going to place this uh, clear lid to keep the relative humidity high. Now, this uh, seed will germinate within two to four weeks after you sow. And uh, as soon as they start to germinate, I take the lid off, uh, maybe half, half of the day or so, and then cover them up at night. And uh, at the same time, as soon as the seedling will germinate, I start fertilizing. Uh, use liquid fertilizer, uh, any liquid soluble fertilizer. And uh, how you want to do it is you uh, Place the uh, water, liquid fertilizer on the bottom. You use the weak solution, and then place this uh, in the tray so that uh, sphagnum can bottom soak. And uh, this one not take very long. Uh, maybe it takes 10 to 15, 15 minutes uh, until the sphagnum gets saturated. Okay, and uh, uh, let's look at some of the ceilings that germinated. Um, so this ceiling here is Rhododendron Livinii, and if you look close, you can see the really long hairs on the, on the foliage, very fascinating. And each seedling will look different. Uh, that's kind of really fun part of growing from seed. And I forgot to mention how to store these seeds. Uh, we use coin envelopes because it works really well, but if you do, make sure to seal all these edges with a tape, otherwise seed will just fall out. And we will place this in a Ziploc bag um, and then uh, put it in the fridge. If you just put this directly in the fridge without putting the Ziploc bag, what happens is the oil and the seed will dry out and it will not germinate. And uh, so that's how you store seeds. Okay, so let's move up to these shallow flats. So as soon as these seedlings are big enough, um, maybe wait till second, uh, leaves, leaves will co uh, come out, they will be ready to move up to next size. So, we're going to move over here now. So, I have a volunteer who come in uh, who will do this for me, but uh, yeah, each ceiling will get lined up on the shallow flats. Now, this is a uh, two inch tall, so very shallow. And this whole thing will be again placed on the heated bench uh, so that the bottom heat will help develop the roots. 
And uh, as soon as they're ready to move that from here, then they'll go into what we call a band pot. So this is two and a half by two and a half inch pot, open drainage on the bottom. And the soil we use is 75% uh, bark and then 25% lava rock. Lava rock will not decompose, so that'll help keep the soil uh, not fluffy, but not compact. Um, so let's look at some of the seeds. So here we have Rodin and Polylepis, and they're ready to be moved up. So fork works really well. Lift one of the seeds, the seedlings, and that's what the seed will look like. So that's our pretty good um, root. Pop up another one. You see they're growing together now, so it need, it, it's time to be separated for sure. Like that, that's a good seed. Uh, roots. Yeah, so ideally, you know, this will be done, uh, this will be done before summer, but I have lots and lots of seed, as you can see, on those two benches are full of seedlings, so we'll see how long. And of course, we don't have uh, long years coming right now uh, because of this pandemic, so thanks to Colette, who's taking this video, she's been spending hours and hours moving these up to uh, band pot, so thank you. Um, so, um, I want to mention one thing. Uh, the another reason that we grow from seed is, uh, for example here, this is Virginal Hancockii, and this particular species, they do not grow from cuttings. I can't root the cuttings. It's very difficult to root them. So that's another reason we grow from seed, is so that uh, we can propagate how to root uh, species, uh, so we can propagate this one. So now, now once it's potted in here, you know, we sprinkle some of the uh, fertilizer here. We just use, use granule fertilizer here. This is not a cottage cheese. Sprinkle lettuce on top. And this will, this flat will stay in the preparation greenhouse for another month or so. I don't want to put them directly out because they've been uh, growing in the bottom heat. So I don't want to shop them. But uh, after a month, this will go outside in the hoop house and roll them on until they're big enough to pop them up. Next year, it will look, look like this. And uh, this will probably get potted up, up into a gallon size next year. So, you know, depending on uh, what we grow, uh, we grow them on from somewhere between five to seven years before their uh, settlement size. So that's the seed propagation in a nutshell. And uh, on the next one, I'm gonna talk about uh, cuttings. So, Stay tuned, and until then, stay healthy, uh, stay strong, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.